Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In our previous tutorial, we have uh, created and dropped a uh, table in our test DB. Uh, now today we are going to insert some data into our test DB, test DB database and we will be uh, inserting data into this DB table which has this uh, ID, name and uh, father name. So uh, if I go to this Visual Studio code, so here uh, we are connecting to the database and here when the connection is successful we are printing this message. So now I'll remove this code from here up to here and I'll backspace this. Now we will create a new query here so dollar SQL equals now we will write the insert query but uh, before inserting the query so I'll create some variables here so I'll use dollar ID equals one semicolon and then dollar name equals uh, mik semicolon and then dollar uh, father name if name equals to Khan and I'll put semicolon so now we are going to insert these values so now we will write the queries query so I'll use insert into db table which is our table name and then we will mention the columns name so the column names inside this small bracket so id uh, name and comma f name if we check it again if i come here so it is id name and f name as you can see the column names here now i'll go again and now after this uh, here i'll use values and now here we will pass in the values so i have to concatenate the value so i'll go out of this uh, double quote so i'll put in a dot and then i'll use dollar id and then i will put in a dot and then double quotes and then i'll pass in the single quote and then dot and then uh, not a single quote so this concatenation is quite confusing so i'll use the simplest way so i'll come here and i will close this uh, single uh, small bracket now inside this i will use double quotes double quotes and then dot dot and then dollar id now similarly i'll put a comma here at the end and then i will use uh, double quotes double quotes as this value is a war card the first value is integer so we do not need to um, uh, enclose in it in single quote so we have to enclose this in single quote so i'll use single quote single quote and then i will use dot dot and it is showing not showing the value so i'll uh, remove the single quotes and dot dot and then uh, dollar a uh, name and then I'll put a comma here and now we will use uh, uh, double quotes double quotes and then dot dot and then I'll use dollar f name now as we know that this name and father name are uh, work or values we have to enclose it in single quotes so I'll use here single quote and now um, before this uh, comma single quote and after this comma single quote and here as well single quote now we are good to go now we will write uh, we will execute this query so i'll uh, go down and here i will use f 
dollar my scale like this one this one so uh, dollar my escape lie then arrow uh, query and now i'll pass in the dollar escape well if this is successful so do what um print if uh, this one uh, data inserted successfully and uh, we will at the end we will use br close this and now i'll put semicolon here now if we have uh, an error so i will hit this if dollar my skip lie error so then do what only braces and print if and now data not inserted and um the, here we will use uh, br and here we will we'll use comma dollar my scale line and then error this one and now we will put semicolon at the end and now i'll control s it now as you can see you, you knew that this one this file my scale example is a save in zamp ht docs so now we can run it through localhost so i'll come here and we will use uh, localhost my it's given example dot php and now if i hit enter now you can see it has done connected su successfully and data inserted successfully now we will go to our uh, the database and we will check our uh, db table uh, and so that if we have this record inserted or not so i'll come here uh, you can see this uh, we do not have any record here but if i refresh this now you can see one mik and han is inserted here now we will insert another record and we will check this again now i will uh, make this uh, two and i'll mik go and i'll make this on sir and now i'll control this it again and now if i go to this and now if i come to this file and now if i rerun it now it is again showing the same message and now if i refresh this you can see we have the second record in my k equal enhancer so in this way you can insert data into our database using php so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you